गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स दिस इज संतोष कुलकर्णी एड्रेसिंग यू ऑन द रिक्वायरमेंट्स ऑफ फॉर्म वर्क फॉर आर सी सी ओके सो इन आर सी सी फॉर्म वर्क टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी वट आर द बेसिक गाइडलाइंस ऑफ रिमूविंग ऑफ फॉर्म वर्क सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट आई वॉन्ट टू नो वेदर यू आर सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल और नॉट सब्सक्राइब fantastic it is because of you that i keep on uploading day to day videos quality videos okay and those of who, those of you who are not yet subscribed please 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 subscribe today itself okay fantastic now on today's in today's lecture we are going to see first of all uh, let us see what is uh, exactly meant by form work so form work is the temporary arrangement to support the concrete till it gains strength it is a temporary arrangement so naturally when we say temporary it has to be removed so it has to be removed after a specified period that period which is specified which we are going to see today okay so form work is basically divided in four parts i think you know all of you okay first is centering shuttering staging and scaffolding so what is centering anything or any arrangement through which we support a slab horizontal arrangement is called centering any vertical sides vertical faces that is called shuttering any arrangement to support either centering or shuttering is called staging and any arrangement to support the people at site is called scaffolding these are the basic four terms okay so have you understood centering means supporting horizontal faces for example if you see here this is a slab so we do centering for the slab we do shuttering for the beams we do shuttering for the columns so centering for the slab the slab could be roof slab slab could be uh, slab of the water tank beams could be anything it could be a lintel it could be a plinth beam it could be a roof beam okay different types of beams so any horizontal arrangement this one is called centering any vertical arrangement is called shuttering so we are looking at two different things centering and shuttering so what are the rules what are the guidelines that we are going to see today first is slabs so imagine that the span of this slab is 3 meters how much 3 meters which is less than 4.5 meters that means you have to remember one important parameter that is 4.5 anything less than 4.5 anything more more than 4.5 will have different guidelines so if the slab is less than 4.5 meters in this example you are seeing a slab whose width is or whose short span is 3 meters long span is 4 meters so both of these spans are less than 4.5 so the centering for these slabs that means the plates the centering plates for these slabs the supports for this slab shall be removed after 7 days is it not simple yes it is very simple now if the span if the any one of the span is exceeding 4.5 meters then 
the centering shall be removed after 15 days. Got it? So, slab, we talked about two different periods. Less than 4.5 meter, 7 days. More than 4.5 meters, 15 days. Now, same criteria when we go to beams will be like this. Any beam whose span is less than 4.5 meters. Now, here it is 4.5 meters, let us say. Then, the shattering of the beam shall be removed after 15 days. Any beam which is less than 4.5 meters, the supports, the shattering shall be removed after 15 days. If the beam is more than 4.5 meters, the shattering shall be removed after 21 days. So, 15, 21. So, again, let us repeat. In case of a slab, we use centering. In case of a beam, we use shattering. Okay? Centering, shattering. Now, in case of slab or in case of centering, if it is less than 4.5 meters, we remove after 7 days. If it is more than 4.5 meters, we remove it after 15 days. In case of beams, in case of beams, what will happen? If it is less than 4.5 meters, we will remove the shattering, the form work after 15 days. But if the span is more than 4.5 meters, we will remove it after 21 days. Okay, so we spoke about centering and shattering of the beams. Now, when we talk about vertical sides or shattering of the beams, this, this is the vertical sides. So, all the vertical sides shall be removed after 24 hours. It may be footing sides, column sides, beam sides, slab sides, water tank, wall, sides, any RCC sides will have to be opened next day, that is 24 hours, sides, remember, we should not keep the sides for more than 24 hours, what is the logic behind that, main logic, remember, that if you are, if you can open or if you open the sides after 24 hours, you can remove the set, the shattering very easily. Okay. That is first thing. Secondly, immediate after second day, you can start hacking on the vertical surfaces and you can start the curing. The basic concern is that the curing should immediately start on the vertical faces. So, got it? So, so far we spoke about three different periods. First, uh, when you want to remember, first you remember that all vertical sides will be opened after 24 hours. In case of slab centering, we have to think of spans. So, any span less than 4.5 meter you have to open the slab after 7 days. If the span is more than 4.5 meters, you have to open after 15 days. Now, we talk about beam bottom, beam supports. Any beam less than 4.5 meter, you can open after 15 days. Any beam after uh, more than 4.5 meters, you can open after 21 days. Got it. Now have a look on the overall side. These are the different beams. This is the beam bottom. This is the centering. This is the small or secondary beam. This is the main beam. And uh, what else uh, shall I show you? Mm. These are all centering plates. Centering plates. This is the corner. This portion is called column 2P. This is the overhang. Or these are 
plates hacking has been done properly okay friends so shall we stop here so thank you so much hope you have liked the video and if you have liked please click on the like button if you have got any queries just write down on the below side comment portion okay please share it to your colleagues and to other students and in case of any difficulty please write to me okay thank you so much bye bye have a nice day take care bye